my crafty friends um this is just a one-off video because i saw a question on how you could possibly do a sort of curved writing so that it's evenly spaced and at the right angle um and it's it's not too difficult to do in canvas if you keep your head and you're okay with circles and angles and if not i can show i explain how you can work it out anyway okay so that's the word that we're going to use bulldog so what we're going to need first of all is our words so again i'm going to bring up the text and i'm going to select one of my text to use and i think we'll go with um what shall we have this one this time just this one so I'm going to double click and I'm going to have it in capitals. Oh, I could have it in small, but I'm just going to do it in capitals because I think it's going to be easier. So there's my first one. And I'll also need a duplicate of that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to select both, edit, and I'm going to group them while I just resize them a little. And then I'm going to edit and ungroup them and then I'm going to process the overlap and divide them so they're individual letters and again process the overlap and divide them so now I've got the individual letters and what I'm going to do is so that I can identify and this is just purely for screen purposes and so I know what I've got selected I'm going to assign each letter its own colour. So I'm going to make the B's a colour. Um, so let's just make them green for argument's sake. And then the U's will have their own colour and make them a completely different colour. And it's just so that when you're doing the next step, you can identify which layer easily. I want to make that brighter and then it shows up which colours you're actually linking together. So I'm just selecting both letters and I am holding my shift key down and giving both letters the same colour. And the colour is arbitrary, you can have whatever colours you want. Um, it's fairly straightforward. Just highlight the first one, shift key down and select a different colour for those that group. So now you can see all of my letters are grouped, if you will, by colour these and that colour and so on and so forth and you'll see how that is going to help us shortly so the next thing I'm going to do is bring on a basic shape and I'm wanting to do a curve around that so I'm going to do the circle because that's the curve that we want and that was the curve that was asked for so that's what I'm going to do all right so the next thing I need to do is I'm going to position my B or rather my B's, just above and below the circle using the circle as a guide. I'm going to highlight them all and I'm going to centre them on the vertical axes. So now I know that they would be central to the circle and to each other. And I'm just going to move the circle out of the way for now. And I'm going to bring the green one down now for the U. And this is where we need to make sure that this stays on the top. So I'm going to put it on the top bring this one down that's on the top next I'm going to bring this one down again making sure it's on the top so again bring to the top and then the other L that color is going on the top down here again not quite on the top so if it's not just make sure you hit that button and bring it all the way to the top and again I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing not quite so much because now you can't see it all so there so now i'll need this blue one again not on the top so edit bring to the top and position this one position it over the last one it's not at the top so edit bring to the top and i'm just making a stack of letters at this stage so that one again edit bring to the top and get the other d that into position and again it needs to come to the top and the O edit bring to the top 
and say G, edit thing to the top. I'll do it before I do it and then I know it's the top. And then I've just got my OR down this end to do the next layer on. Again, bring it to the top. And finally, the G down here and bring it to the top. Okay, so, oh, we seem to have not brought that one to the top. So I'm just going to undo that bit and make it go away again. Bring it forward, edit, and I'm just going to save my work so I don't lose it. I'm going to give it the name Bulldog. All this would work with any letter, any any word, and I'm going to save it. Okay, hit G and edit, and it's still not giving me that option. And it looks like something's gone a little bit AWOL with soft software. So because I've saved it, I can now reload it. And this time, it's there again now. For some reason, um, Canvas does sometimes do that for some reason. And I've not really got any rhyme or reason why. But all I've done now is selected that stack of letters. And I'm just highlighting them, centering them. And... On the vertical and the horizontal axes then I'm going to bring in the circle again select both all three the street both stacks of letters and the circle and I'm just going to position it so you can see and I'm going to center those on the vertical axes only and then I'm going to move the circle out of the way for now so then what I need to do, and I'm just going to zoom in for this bit so you can see what's happening. Um, it seems a little bit long-winded, but because it's really repetitive, it's really actually quite simple. So I'm going to need my properties box because I'm going to be doing some rotating. Now, what I'm going to do first of all is if, when I click on the G, you can see that colour pops up here. So we know that we've got the right letter. That's the idea behind making them the different colours. Because they're in a stack, it'd be easy to get the wrong letter. But we want to make sure we've got both Gs. And because I've got both that colour when it's highlighted, I can now group them. And then I'm going to rotate them by 60 degrees. And the, the rotation would depend on the letters. Then I'm going to next select the O's and again being careful not to move them and making sure that I'm getting that two colours. And again I'm going to edit, group them and I'm going to rotate this time by 40 degrees. Press, press enter. Again I'm going to now hit the D which is that purple colour and the D. And again you can see that that's come up as the purple colour and I'm going to group them. And this time I'm going to rotate them by 20 degrees. So if you get the idea, it's very similar, not identical, but similar to making the petals on a flower. The only thing you've got to be careful of is obviously because these are letters, you can't just duplicate them as like a, a group of six because you need them all to be different letters. But you can do it this way. And this time now we want these to be moving in the anti-clockwise direction. And I want... And I'm going to have, so the B is going to be over here eventually, the U, the L and the L. So I need an L in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I've highlighted those two, made it a group, and I'm now going to get it to rotate by 20 degrees. So it'll be in the same position as the D, but on the left hand side. So I need to add a minus sign and then click 20 and enter. And that does that for us. Now the L is actually in the right place. And this is where you've got to think about your spelling. So again, I'm going to group them, but that that's going to be my final layer. So I'm going to now send that to the back. So now what I need to do is select the green U's because that's going to be my next bit of my word, if you will. If you think that L is going to be there, L, and I need a U, and then the B is going to be far off. So this time I need to group them and now I'm going to rotate them by 40 degrees, but I want them to the left. So it's minus 40. And that will put them in exactly the same position as the O, but on this side, on the left side. And the last letter we need to do now is the B. 
and I'm going to select both of those and you can see by the colour that I've got both B selected and I'm going to group them and this time I need to go 6 there so it's in the same position as the G sorry but it's going left so minus 6 there hit enter and then we've got that bold up on a curve but we have also got this bit down here in it now we can ungroup them and just delete them this way so there's always a workaround so edit ungroup and delete so we're just working around we're doing our ungroup and delete the bottom letter edit ungroup delete the bottom letter edit ungroup delete the bottom letter edit ungroup delete the bottom letter and finally the g edit ungroup and delete the bottom letter so now what we've got is that bulldog on a curve and if we bring that in so i'm first of all so i don't dislodge any of the letters and move them I'm going to group them. So now I can make that smaller or bigger and it's still got that lovely perfect curve, all perfectly positioned and all the same angles away from each other. All right, I hope that um, you can understand the method is that if, it, if it's an even number, it's fairly straightforward. If it's an odd number, it is equally straightforward. If you work out where you want your sort of word to run if it's going from say quarter past to quarter past that would be 90 degrees from there so you'd work out what your number of letters is and divide it into that and vice versa that way or you could do it as a 180 and divide the number of letters by 180 and that would tell you sort of how many degrees you'd need to rotate it dependent on the size of your word um so that's it for now. Um, I hope that's shown you that it is possible to do a word that's curved in Canvas Workspace. It is easier in um, Inkscape, but not everybody is as familiar with Inkscape. And if you open Inkscape and you've not been used to any software whatsoever, all the buttons and selections and choices and menus can become a little bit daunting. Anyway, I hope if this video has helped you and you can see that you can do just whatever you want to do. And obviously now you can cut that out of vinyl and weed it, put it on a t-shirt, whatever, with another logo. If it's putting you off from all being different colours, by all means just select them and change them now all back to the same colour. So whatever you want and that was how you do it. So if, you've, if this has been helpful, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.